Hey y'all, today is my off day. I did not comb my hair, so excuse its oxymoron actions, you know what I mean? It's just doing its own thing. It does not want to stay down and watch. Y'all see that be still sticking up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to dig in and we're going to talk about Mr. Abraham Keithania, the dictator, okay, as my fellow YouTuber calls him. We're going to talk about him and his secret or secrets, okay? Now, first off, before we get into it, into it, let's let's go back a few videos ago when we were talking about um, the King Thania family secret. We were talking about, you know, um, Suzette possibly being um, abused, right? That was a theory that has been floating around for a while. Um, and supposedly that could have been the, the secret that Yolanda and Selena could have been arguing about in room 158 the day that Yolanda shot Selena, right? That was a theory, right? So the other theory is Mr. King Thania, the dictator, has a secret and Yolanda threatened to unleash, unleash <laughs> rather, she threatened to unleash this secret Okay, and the secret supposedly was that the dictator kissed her. Now, we all know Yolanda's a liar, right? And we all know Yolanda is a bullshitter. And we all know not to believe anything that comes out of that woman's mouth, right? But let's be honest. Don't we all in the back of our minds think, well... That's a strong possibility that she could be telling the truth. You know what I mean? Like, that's a strong possibility that out of all the lies that woman then told and out of all the lies that have come out of that woman's mouth, maybe that is one of the few things that came out of her mouth that was actually truth. You know what I'm saying? It's a possibility that she could have been telling the truth about this man. And maybe Selena, Selena was defending him because that's her dad. You got to think about it. Selena loves her dad, Okay. She ain't going to let nobody say nothing about her dad that is offensive to her family, to her mother, to her parents' uh, marriage, and so forth. And if I was in Selena's shoes, I would have that same feeling, same reaction, same defense, same offense, all that, right? Somebody came up to me and said that my daddy kissed another woman and my parents were still married. The first thing I'm going to think in my mind is I'm going to do everything I can to protect my parents' marriage, even if they are having problems or even if their marriage is not perfect, because who is the next person to try to tear up my mom and dad's marriage? You know what I mean? Because any human being is going to want to protect their mom and dad, especially if they grew up with both parents, especially if both parents are active in their lives, and especially um, if both parents um, did everything they could to raise them right. So, Mr. Quintanilla supposedly kissed Yolanda. Now, I watched a clip on one of these um, ghost telegram videos that somebody did. And um, I watched the guy ask Selena a question. And supposedly, Selena... Um, in, in ghost form or in spiritual form or spirit form or whatever you want to call it, answered the guy um, and and told him what happened in that room and what her and Yolanda, Yolanda argued about. He asked her, what did you guys argue about in that room? And Selena's supposedly, Selena's voice said, that it was about her dad. And the guy asked her, well, what about your dad? What happened? What did you guys argue about? She said it was about um, Yolanda saying that her dad kissed her. Okay? Now, now, now let's hypothetically just say 
that this is true, right? Let's just hypothetically say that this is true. Did the dictator's secret kill Selena? Because what if Selena just walked out of that room, did what Chris initially told her to do, let that stuff go, walk out the room without leading Yolanda to believe that her job was over, just walked out the room, let it go, let the police handle it later on, let the police escort her to get them papers later on or whatever. Yolanda, Selena would still be here. Selena would still be alive, right? But let's just hypothetically say that Yolanda told her that the dictator kissed her and Selena, you know, went off on Yolanda and went ham on Yolanda and was defending her father, defending his name, defending her parents' marriage. What if you, what if Selena was like, no, my father did not kiss you or my father did not do this to you. Those is lies. Stop these lies, you know? What if, what if they argued about that right before Selena walked out of that door? And what if Selena walking out of the door after that argument is what provoked Yolanda or possessed Yolanda to shoot her? Now, this is a theory. We don't know what really happened that day in that room, you guys. This is all speculation. This is all hypothetical. This is a theory. I am not saying this actually happened. So you Selena fans out there, don't go around talking about Tay said, no, Tay didn't say nothing. I said that this is just speculation and a theory. And hypothetically, what if this was true? Now, if this was true, the fact remain that the dictator, Mr. King Thania, had a secret that killed his daughter. Y'all just let that sink for a minute in your minds. I don't want to keep this video too much any longer, but I'm going to let y'all watch the clip before we end the video. Take a look. With Dania Perez. Earlier today, I was not recording, but I did a quick session and I was able to make contact with a soul that I believe may have been Selena and she was ready to go ahead at that time, but I wasn't. So I have basically pushed it over a few hours. So hopefully I can make contact with her right now. Selena, are you here? Thank you. I heard a, a soul speak to me earlier today. It sounded as if it may have been you and you were saying that you were ready to go. I just wanted to confirm that. Selena, did you have an argument with Yolanda before your passing? Yes. Why were you arguing with Yolanda? Something. Yolanda says that she shot you by accident. Is that true? Did Yolanda mean to kill you? Yolanda is in prison for the rest of her life and she may get parole after 30 years. What do you think to that, Selena? So as you guys can see in that clipping, that is 
supposedly what happened and took place in the room that day in room 158 when Yolanda shot and killed Selena. But the story is sad, you know, we don't really know what really happened today, but that's another theory um, that is floating through the internet. That is another possibility that that could have happened, but we don't know. Um, but if it is true, the dictator got a secret out there that may have killed his daughter. Because you got to think about Abraham and his selfish wants and needs, and that is his coins, okay? His money, his bank account. He wanted Selena's you know, singing career to stay intact, to keep his bank account full. Do you understand? That was that man's main concern. His concern was nothing else. Now, we know how men can be. We know they can cheat. We know they can be sneaky and conniving. We know they could do their women wrong, lie to their wives and girlfriends. We know this, right? I'm not saying that the dictator did this. I'm not saying Mr. King Thania did this, but what I am saying is, it is a possibility that this could have happened and he could have kept this from his wife. We don't really know. But if it is true, this man has a secret out there that has been living and breathing for 20 some years and it killed her. Tell me what you guys think thoughts are in the description box down below or in the comment section, I should say. And I'll see y'all in the next video. But before we end here, like I always say, do you live your best life, get yourself together, and no robot behaviors over here. See you guys in the next video. Peace later. And before I leave, if this is true, Mr. Quintanilla, you ought to be ashamed of yourself.